What's going on everyone and welcome back to more Legend of Dragoon. In the previous episode, we picked up our pass to get to the uh, Valley of Corrupted Gravity. And now I'm back in the Barrens. If you remember, we had an area where you could go left or right. And proceeding right took us to Dunau. So we're going to go to the left this time and that's going to take us to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Um, now the Valley of Corrupted Gravity is pretty complex in the way that it's laid out. Um, I haven't really rehearsed how I'm going to go through it, so it's going to take a little bit of trial and error, so just bear with me. But who knows, maybe I'll get through it on my first try. Whoop. Huh, I actually didn't even realize I could do that. That's pretty cool. Battle time! What sort of minions will we face on the road to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity? Ah, it's one of these. I think these are one of those uh, special enemies that you have to have certain things in order to kill. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to harm this. At least not very much. Yeah, it only takes one damage. I don't remember how you're supposed to fight these exactly. So I'm just gonna run away. Here we are. The Valley of Corrupted Gravity. I am a little bit under leveled for this section, so we'll see how it goes. It is blockaded by the ordinance of King Zyar. I cannot let anybody not having a pass issued by the court pass through. Oh, excuse me, sir. This is a pass for the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. The gate, open the gate. And yeah, thank you very much. That's quite a gate. Over there is the territory of the Garage Gang. If that's not enough, the gravity is warped. Advance with caution, sirs. Sirs and madams, thank you very much. There are females here too. But let's go on in. Oh, it's not bad at all. I was expecting to have some fun. Meru, watch out. Oh God. It really has the backwash from the Dragon Campaign. The collision of the magic power of the Dragoons and Winglies can distort nature quite a bit. I don't think you're going to have much fun from now on. I'm not just following you guys for that. Let's go, guys. We got to find the garages. All right, so there's a lot of floating platforms on this level, so I'm just going to kind of move around, really, jumping on platforms till it works. <laughs> it's very difficult to give instructions for this because it's kind of all over the place, and you'll see. One of the more complicated areas of the game. Ah, oh, but up here we have a nice spot for healing. Oh, and it's battle time. It's actually a great spot to power level if you need to. And then you can just go right back out to the world map to save periodically. <laughs> This is a very interesting looking enemy. Some of the character designs are very cool, which is why I wish we would get a sequel. Burning rush. Ah. 
There he goes. All right. Successful battle is successful. Let's get to move on. I'm gonna go across here. And I can't carry any more items. Let's see what I don't need. I think I just picked up something I don't particularly need. Yeah, we don't need this. I just like to keep the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Now, how the hell do I get back? Ah, another secret spot that's kind of hard to determine. This map can be very confusing sometimes. Moving right along. All right, so you're gonna start by climbing up this tree. And when this platform comes back, we'll jump to it. Come here. There we go. I'm gonna hop off and, ah, I missed it. Come on back. Thank you. Yup. 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 Ah, we've got some new enemies. Time for some spider wars. Spider urchin and a rock. It's a weird name. Just rock. Yes. All these other enemies have very descriptive names, and that one's just rock. Well, that was easy. Take that, spider bro. Ow. Don't stun me, you bastard. I'm probably getting very close to maxing out these additions, so I should probably look into upgrading them. I'll probably do that after the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. This area is not terribly long. It's one of the things I like about the game is the dungeons aren't excessively long. You, it kind of gets right to the point. And there's plenty of boss fights. And I like the variety of boss fights in this game. Down you go. So now things start to get a little interesting. If you go into the light, you will go upside down. And this gets confusing because the controls get inverted. <clears throat> oh, okay, I guess I can't do whatever's up there right now. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, these inverted controls will be the bane of my existence. Oh, you don't want to do anything up here? Okay, we'll just take you back down. There we go. What now? What abomination do we fight now? Uh, another spider and a couple of other things. If that thing is sitting in a nest, why is it running? It's an erupting chick? Huh. Yes. Erupting chicks. It must be the spawn of the assassin cock. We must defeat them before they turn into cocks. Yep. 
stop. More and more. Take that, chick. We're gonna get attacked by a super cock. Because we're pissing off the mother. Burning rush. Was a grand hit. Down you go. More and more. All right. Take that, chicks. Spider urchin. Gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit. All you. Going up. We. Go ahead and jump on this one. Grab this item. Got a talisman. No. Come on now. Come back here. I can't get on that one. Hmm. Well, maybe we need to go back down. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I'll ride this guy down. Let's try this light. Come on. So this one looks like it takes us up here. What a welcome we got. Oh, look. Barrage! Huh? What the heck is that? What is worse is it has the complete form. Guys! I'm asking you, what is that? It might be the real cause of the distortion of the valley. Wow, that's scary. Shanna? Here it comes again. I hear the voice, again. Don't go. It's too dangerous to go. Yes, we gotta go. We're not gonna make it to the garages without going over. This thingamajig. What are you looking at? You guys don't trust me? Is there no way but to advance? All right, so that wasn't as awful as I thought it was going to be, and we didn't gather all the loot, but I believe we've made it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and snag a save and get healed up. I forgot to go and talk to Martel about the uh, Stardust, but I will get around to that very soon. Probably after we leave here.
All right. It's time to go into our boss fight. I can't let you go. If we advance, we will have to fight again. Hey, nothing can be done without meeting the garages, right? What about Lynn, Dart's memento, and this Lloyd that you were looking for? Worrying won't help. Besides, it might not start to move this time. That's what they all say, right before it happens. Everyone run! Run to where? We're on a bunch of floating platforms in the sky. All right. So yeah, this is a very interesting looking garage. It doesn't look quite like a Metal Gear anymore, which is kind of a shame. I like the Metal Gear design. So yeah, that was an instant kill attack. If you want to, you can attack his left arm in order to prevent that, but it's really not worth it because he'll regenerate it. I'd recommend just going for the head. Why is everyone on Albert's case today? Come on, cut the guy a break. Jeez. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a little Dragoon magic. Go ahead and up our resistance. Rose Storm. Defend me, roses. Squire! Don't step on me. Ow! Ow! How did that only do 14 damage? I mean, it makes sense because I threw up that shield, but damn, that was a big, that was, that was, he freaking stepped on me. Anyway, let's go ahead and use a healing breeze. This Albert's taking a beating. Well, maybe that wasn't the best move. Oh well. I probably should have just waited for him to die. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. I think. Yep, he's dead. Well, we're gonna have to recover him again. We haven't even attacked the enemy yet. This fight is not going so hot. Let me guess, you're gonna attack Albert again. No? Spinning king. That's what you get. Let's see. We'll go ahead and go Dragoon. Might as well use it. See what we can work with here. I'm uh, not going to use any magic right now. I'm just going to go ahead and attack with a D attack. Not a perfect hit, but at least we got all the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.
Oh god. That attack is obnoxious. I'm just gonna pause there for a second and then collapse. And I'm gonna revive you. I may not have brought enough uh, restoration items. And Dragoon and use another one of those uh, protection spells. Just to try to keep us alive. Keep in mind, I'm probably a level or two under what I should be for this fight, so that's probably why I'm having a harder time. But that just makes it more interesting. Defend me! Let's go in for another hit. Burning rush. Take that, you big bastard. All right, taking a bit of a beating. Let's go ahead and Dragoon. Once again. <laughs> Thinking now might be a good time for an Astral Drain. Astral Drain is always valuable. Thinking, yeah, another astral drain. Astral drain. That's not good. Let's see, can we get rid of the fear? Definitely should do that. Let's 
away and use a healing breeze. And we'll go ahead and use another one to get rid of that last thing of fear. Just having a healing round here. that one. Hit him again. Burning rush. There it is. Barrage is down. Earth are you to Virage? I don't know. I don't know anything. There's no more Virage. Dart. It's okay now. All right. Got a lot of experience. Awesome, everybody got up to 17. And we're very close to 18. The power that can awake the sleep of 11,000 years. Is that Rancor against us? The Rancor against Dragoons awakens the barrage? Or is that something to do with Shanna? Shanna. Let's have a chat. After you came back, Dart, a lot of things started to happen. But we have overcome everything, and we will continue. Because I am not alone now. Everybody is with me, and I have you, Dart. You make me strong. I can do it. I can leave any time. Thanks to my guiding you, it was totally thrilling, wasn't it? Now we can go straight to the garage gang. We can go rescue Lynn. We were saved by Shanna. But it seems that this is not that simple for her. The existence of Dragoons and the existence of Virages should have ended 11,000 years ago. But they were brought to life around us. I think we have to go forward to find out more about this. Shanna has changed. She has obtained more strength. I agree. I don't know what is happening to Shanna, but she is trying to solve that alone. She has become a woman. I guess so. It's not the time to talk about this, but... 
It's time for you to change. Me? It's too hard on Shanna. If you continue to treat her like a mere baby sister forever, doesn't matter. Your dragoon spirit is waiting. We have to think of, we have to think about going. There must be something wrong with Shanna, and she must definitely see it. Everybody knows that. Let's go, everybody. The garages will be just ahead. Let's take a look at this. All right, guys. So in the next episode, we'll continue on. I'll see you then.